About two and a half years ago, I was at work uh, in the middle of winter here on the island and uh, two guys walked in and they had a briefcase with them and I thought they looked pretty interesting, you know, not like the usual customers. And they came up and uh, they said they were looking for a girl named Natalie and I said, well, that's me. And they, um, they proceeded to tell me that they had been told to come and find me by a few people that they had met in Avalon because they wanted to do something crazy and I was the only person crazy enough on the island to think it was a good idea. That turned out to be Andy Hewitt and Sean Durkin and then from there they told me all about this race called Otelo and about how they were thinking of bringing it to the island and that they were wondering if I could help them with that. Some people like refer to it as Jurassic Park, some people refer to it as one of the Galapagos Islands of Northern America. It's just very unique, it's very special. It's unlike anything else you'll find in Southern California just because the, the nature of the island has been really well preserved. Yeah. Electrolytes? Yeah. Electrolytes? Anybody else electrolytes? How you feel? Yeah. Yeah. Electrolytes? Better than you thought? <laughs> yeah. Okay, very good. Okay. Hmm. Make it yeah, two, six. Make it also.
Captain Isla right here at Catalina Island. They're having the styling, they deserve it. A fantastic car, they did it. They did it. Nicola just has team Enbol, team 45, right through the door. And for Wild Enbol coming in, congratulations. The ladies and ladies in five hours and ten minutes, a great big deal. It's really unique, very diverse. Um, and it's a really amazing community to be a part of. I think that's probably my favorite part is the small town. Everybody loves where they're from. Everybody takes great pride in where they're from. And it's like a giant family. It's like a big tribe. <laughs>